assembly. Optimus Primal complete. Let's now take a look at the details. As you can see here, I had to increase the exposure so that we could see the details better. They tend to get lost in the paint job, but once you shine a light on it, they're there. Optimus Primal looks magnificent under the light. They molded battle damage, somewhere and here. And you can see the inner workings of his mechanical frame. The fur 4 is guerrilla mode however. Don't have a good look to them. This is a figure that could use some customizing work. Especially with the paint job. Articulation. Optimus Primal's head is on a ball joint allowing him the ability to fully express head movement. Armor on his arms move out of all of the way in order to give movement, when necessary. Arms are engineered in a way, where anything that might hinder movement automatically adjusts as you articulate the arms. His torso is able to move up and down, even though there's a noticeable gap the area. His legs are able to move forward and back with quite the distance. They also come with mechanical bits and pieces that move as you articulate the figure. His legs are designed better than his arms in my opinion. They have a good blend between the robot mode and his beast mode. You would think that with the way this figure is designed, he would be able to transform. Accessories Optimus Primal comes with two open palm hands, two weapon holding hands, one alternate face, and one hand for pointing at things. Size comparison. Here he is with Optimus Prime. Here he is compared to Gipsy Danger, compared to C-3PO, compared to another Optimus. Here he is compared to Morgan the Duck. And lastly, here he is with Iron Man. 
Optimus Primal by Yolo Park Toys is a fun model kit action figure. The design is translated well from the movie design and works as a toy. Articulation and details are the strongest point of this action figure. The paint job will require some customizing. Other than that, the figure is a solid 9 out of 10.